All right, so what we have now is we've got a um, we've got a slide that when we our menu slide when we click the hotspot it goes to this it zooms in we close it it zooms out and jumps back so everything's set the way we want it to be set now the only thing we need to do here is we just duplicate these slides so we hit Control D we'll change we'll call this one Module Two we're gonna hit Control D we call this one Module Three and we hit Control D and this one will be Module 4. And the reason we wait is we want to build all the interactions so they work right and then we don't have to do a lot of extra work on each slide. So we go to Module 2. The only thing we have to do is move everything over. So this is Module 2. We're just going to move our spot and we're going to take our button and come over here. We go to Module 3. Let's grab this and move it down here. And you can zoom out a little bit if you want to. All right, make it a little easier. We're going to do this here. And again, you can frame it up any way you want to. Grab our button here. And we'll go to Module 4. And um, we do the same thing. We're going to move it over here. And we're going to grab our button. All right, so everything looks good. We're happy. And you can tweak all this if you want to. And um, what we should have is our four slides and they're all set to the right zoom region. The only thing we need to do is set our triggers on the hotspot. So this one should go to module two. This one here should go to module three and this one here should go to module four. So let's go ahead and preview the scene. And what we should have is I can click this. You can see it goes to module one. You can zoom out. It's back to the menu. Click this one. It goes to module two. Go here, Module 3, and this one should work, Module 4. And then now the question is, uh, does it still work? So this one keeps working, and we'll test the last one, and that one works. So the properties, everything's set well. All right, so that's basically it. And then it's just a matter of putting content in there. So you have to zoom in, put your content on the screen, and then um, figure out how you want that to appear on the timeline, and then zoom out. Um, hopefully that helps you. I'll give you this source file and the other source file. You can deconstruct those and build your own little interaction.